Hello and welcome Pisces. It's a pleasure to read for you today. My name is Dudham Carr and you can reach me through dudhamcar23 at gmail.com. If you um, would like a private reading, you can get in touch with me there. I can do one on Skype and send it to you and you can pay me through PayPal. If you'd like to make these videos better, you can possibly donate through Patreon where I have an account. So, without further ado, we call upon Neptune and Jupiter, the traditional rulers of Pisces, its sign in the Western Zodiac for Sun, Moon, the Rising, Fish, Melons, Lime, these water lilies, pussy willows, any sort of unusual, watery, and abundant deities, associations. The deities which we invoke are the Babylonian goddesses of the Tigris and the Euphrates River, where the two tails of the fish come from. The energies of Neptune are those associated with visualization, affirmation, entertainment, illusion, addiction, hypnosis, otherworldly realms. Melons, lettuce, All things clean and pure. This is you. This is what crosses you. This is above you. This is in your recent past. And this is in your distant past. future events, your hopes and wishes, concerns and fears. Your relationship to others and their relationship to you. Your environment. Your thoughts at this time. And your conclusion. What is our hidden message for the overall reading? It is the Six of Cups. Letting go of the past, making peace with childhood, childhood nostalgia and remembrances. Two children, place flowers into cups. You may have returned back to your home, back to your family at some point and found a treasure there that you were not expecting. Where are you now? You are the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords, a lady who has a choice to make and is making that choice through critical thinking and reasoning. The Two of Swords is balanced force, harmony, firmness, con concord, um, offsetting factors, a stalemate, and affection. So you have decided to lay down arms, put your uh, issues to rest for your own well-being and for the love and future of your relationships. Right now you have the two of coins reversed as your factors, your influences. And the two of coins means that you were coming into money, but that things went awry and uh, they were not as you expected them to be. Reverse means literary ability. Agility in handling matters. Simulated enjoyment. Enforced gaiety. Letter. A message. So, um, you may not have wanted to go on a trip 
or been invited along for something fun, but you did it anyway. Uh, you're a very intelligent person, and no matter what life has thrown at you, you've dealt with it. Right now, you're going to get a message, um, and uh, you, you've been um, forced to have fun against your will, <laughs> if there is such a thing. Um, but this letter or message will open up new ideas, so let's find out what new ideas. Uh, this is in your headspace. It is the reverse of the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups reversed. Is an invitation, usually. However, in the reverse, it means subtlety, artifice, trickery, a sly and cunning person, a person capable of swindling. So, um, somebody around you is not telling the truth is your concern. That's only in your head, it's your worry, but that's what you're concerned with. And in your short-term past, you had the reverse of the Eight of Cups. And this is a man who has gone walkabout in the moonlight, suddenly just taking off because he needs to. And the Eight of Cups is uh, in reverse. Effort continued until full success is attained. Festivity and gaiety. So you've had good times. You've you've attempted to have success, and if if having a good time and having fun is success, then you're doing it. Um, so in your distant past, you have the Knight of Coins reversed. So the Knight of Coins reversed says stagnation, inertia, a lack of a determination or direction, narrow-mindedness, limits set by dogmatic views, and idleness. You may have been lazy in your past, but that is no reason that things happened to you um, the way they did. Uh, it was just a matter of you were caught in a period of inertia, uh, which happens to everyone off and on in life. But then you you decided that you would um, have a better time, and you have had that better time. But you're kind of getting antsy and uh, being frustrated with the instability in a way. I mean, there's only so long that you can have fun that way without certainty. So, in your future hopes, dreams, ambitions, or influence, you have the nine of swords. Um, so something, something is going to shift for you in the near future. It is um, concern, miscarriage, anxiety over a loved one, and despair. So uh, you feel powerless to help someone in your life that you love very much and you would like to improve matters but you don't know how. In your uh, present influence the way you influence others, the way they influence you, you have the Knight of Clubs upright. And the Knight of Clubs is a journey, an advancement into the unknown, alteration, flight, absence, and a change of resonance. So um, you may not feel like moving someplace else. You may not feel like um, altering anything, but you will eventually move from where you are now, and possibly this is the key to moving forward. Someone is asking you to go on a trip. You've gone on this trip. You have to decide whether to move or not. Um, you will be moving house, but whether you move location is another matter. The environment is saying it is the Eight of Clubs reversed. Your current environment and its influence upon you is in the reverse. Effort continued.
Swift activity, sudden progress or movement, speed, hastily made decisions, and too rapid of an advancement. So, um, things are happening in your life. You're just making decisions based on something to do. But then you get in those decisions, and they're not as fun as you wish they were. Uh, you kind of feel forced. So, in your inner emotions, you have the king of clubs. And I would say that this means that the power is with you to change the situation. An honest and conscientious person, mature, wise, devoted, friendly, sympathetic, educated, a gentleman, generally married, um, or I would read that as committed, and fatherly. So um, you have positive male influences in your life right now, male and female. Um, you should listen to them, um, particularly male. Uh, this would be an educated person, um, and and they are devoted in this case. So, um, well, you've gone off and done your own thing, you've had your enforced fun, you possibly went away on your trip, uh, all of these things. This, this person wants the best for you and loves you and would like it very much if you accepted their advice. Now the end result is the reverse of the Five of Cups. And this is a man who is having a very bad day at the tavern. All of his cups have been turned over and he is a very, very sad man now. So what is going on with him as the final result? The reverse meaning of the Five of Cups is a hopeful outlook, favorable expectations, new alliances, affinity, the return of an old friend, and reunion. So I would say that if you knew people from the past, they're probably going to end up being house guests very soon. If you don't like where you're living, you probably will need to look for a new place right now so that you can prepare for all these house guests which are going to be showing up. This will be a positive thing and it will aid in your self growth. You are ready for any challenge that life provides you. All you need to be aware of is don't get caught up with the people around you, with the yes men, with the uh, people urging you to go racing around with them. That's not necessarily the best. You do need to put your head down and do your own work. Um, this is not necessarily a time where 100% partying will uh, be the best for you. Um, however, your great work has begun and is rapidly approaching. And very soon, you will have this Six of Cups, which I think is um, your childhood hopes and dreams and wishes come true. You will be getting in touch with your inner child. You will be making peace with um, uh, relatives or friendships which have gone by the wayside. And you will feel um, such a reunion, such a sense of reunion in your life, everything coming together perfectly so that you can rebuild a sanctuary of people who love you and who you have loved and come through for them in a new way. This is all about um, emotionally staying the course, using your knowledge to the best of your ability, and um, finding those blessings which are coming to you that abundant emotional um, support which is waiting for you Pisces, um, waiting to exchange with you, to reciprocate and feel your forgiveness and, and offer you your forgiveness. It is a, a beautiful time right now, a beautiful energy of reunion um, with those of your past. So I hope that this brings you a lot of joy to think about and to watch. And if I can help in any way, please contact me at dudhamkar23 at gmail.com. We can set up a Skype meeting. We can, uh, you can pay me through PayPal. Uh, you can also donate. Um, 
to my Patreon account. Thank you so much for being with me today. It's been a pleasure, and I hope to read again for you very, very soon. Until then, namaste, sat and God bless. All good things. Take care.